Okay, so I was at the Calgary Home and Garden Show over the weekend, and I walked in and I saw this guy selling something called the chimney chair. Now, I like being outside, I love campfires, I love roasting marshmallows, but I hate freezing my butt off. And he tells me that his chimney chair is going to keep me warm and toasty outside, and that it's heated by a campfire. So, today I'm going to perform a little experiment. I've got my old camping chair. It's not heated. It's just a plain old camping chair. I've made myself a nice little campfire. As you can see, it's very cold out here. I'm going to set this up and see how long I can stay out here before I get cold. And then we'll compare it to the chimney chair. So I'm going to go over here and set this up. Just like I normally would if I was camping. And I'm going to see how long it takes me to get cold. First of all, the chair is freezing from the second I sit in it. My butt's cold. My back's cold. Back of my neck is getting cold. And right about now, I would give up and go in. I'm too cold to stay out here and enjoy the fire anymore. My camping trip would be over at this point. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go grab a chimney chair. I'm going to set it up and see how that goes. Okay, so here I am with the chimney chair I bought. I'm cold already, but I'm going to take two seconds and just take a look at the chair and see what the difference is. What's the big deal? So Mr. Chimney Chair, the guy who sold me the chair, tells me that this is a thermal skirt that goes around the chair that's supposed to hold the heat in. And these little... I just call them pocket thingies, he calls them dampers, can be open and closed to make the chair warmer or less heat, depending on what you want. And that there's a panel that goes all the way up the back and the front to keep your back nice and warm. So we're going to give it a try, see how that works out. Okay, so I've inspected my chimney chair, taken a look at the differences between chimney chair and my old camping chair, and now I'm going to follow the instructions to heat the chair. So I'm going to take this heater, Fill it with embers from the fire. The instructions say not anything on fire, just what's left in the bottom. So I'm going to just put a scoop in, give it a shake, and then I'm supposed to open the flaps of the chair, put the heater underneath, remove the handle, close it up, and sit. All right, here we go. We're going to give this a try. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's warm. Oh my goodness, I could stay out here for a long time this way. Okay, so you guys can share in the experience just a bit here. My butt is nice and toasty warm, not hot, not burning. I'm going to put this handle down. My back is getting a nice gentle heat up it. If I put my hands on the armrests, I can feel the heat coming up into my armpits. Wow, this is quite an enjoyable experience. I have to say, Mr. Chimney Chair did me right. So here's my chimney chair. I think my little experiment was hugely successful. I will never go camping without my chimney chair, ever. It's coming with me no matter where I go. Ladies, you need to get yourself one. I was a little bit worried about maybe the embers um, getting too hot or the chair lighting on fire, but it's fully fireproofed and probably one of the most enjoyable camping experiences I've ever had. Chimney chair!